So I think it's up with the farm because mom sent me a message telling me I shouldn't try to contact him anymore But I like need to know because it's been like two weeks and all his stuff is at the flat Because like I've been using his laptop and like his phone is there and everything And like I think it's up with the farm because his parents like hate me and I've been trying to get us to break up for like ever And like maybe they sort of like kidnapped him or something on the way home Because the last time we spoke was at Wednesday 9 p.m. when he was out getting drinks with his friends But he never came home so like what if his mom like grabbed him and then started sending me messages telling me like not to contact her son anymore and like I need to know what to do with the flat because he was paying rent. So like, do I need to like move out or like what? So anyway, I'm gonna meet with him and his mom on like Saturday and depending how that goes, I might take a friend with me slash witness in case things kick off and I like need someone to have my back. Sorry, so, so when was your moving date? Oh, that's the thing. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna like move in or not. It'll just depend on the meeting with my boyfriend and his mom and stuff. And your boyfriend is kidnapped? Yes, by his parents. Cool. Um, do you have any other questions, Savannah? Uh, yeah, so I wrote these questions. There's eight people we're seeing today, so there's eight questions, and I thought you guys could, like, all pick one out of the hat. What type of questions? Just stupid questions. You know, so a bit of fun. He can come inside if you I want. I bought it, it's not in the car! Oh my god! It was lovely meeting you two. I'll be in touch. <laughs> um, is, that a, is that a yes to Violet? She didn't answer my question. What is it? Uh, do you prefer people to be nice or interesting? Nice. Interesting. Well, Violet was certainly interesting. Hey, it takes all kinds to make a world. Sorry about that, guys. Had a chicken bindaloo on the way home from happy hour last night. Been scratching my ring through my pocket all morning. All good. So I guess you two kind of want my uh, cotton eye Joes? You what? You know, my uh, where did I come from? Where did I go? Oh, yeah, well, that's uh, usually what happens now. Grew up in Orange, came here when I was 19 to study engineering at RMIT. Uh, that's what I do now. I'm working on the new Westgate Tunnel, working nine to five, casual guy, like a drink after work. Play footy with West Bronny. You been there? No, no. How about you? They got a new women's league. Top of the ladder. I've never played. Suit yourself. So, Pete, uh, where are you living now? Oh, I live with my mate from uni and his missus. Where? Fitzroy. Looking for something cheaper? Yeah, that and uh, other various reasons. Uh, you guys, you guys have a fight or something? What? Do I seem confrontational to you? No, no, not at all. No, I just thought maybe you, you said, for various reasons, I thought maybe you had a fight or something. Yeah. Something did happen. Honestly, I wish it was a fight. Now you have to tell us. Either of you two punch darts? Sure. Yeah. Well, how about I treat you to a smoke and a story? You trying to bribe us? Look, I just want to smoke and I'm being polite. If it happens to sway your decision, let's just call it a happy accident. <laughs> so, like I said, I work nine to five. It was a Tuesday afternoon. I should have been at work, but I was heaving my guts out because of something that I ate for lunch. Some fried chicken or something, so they sent me home. Now I walk into the front door. We've got carpet, right? So you can be real quiet if you want when you're coming home. It's not that I want it to be, it just so happened that I was. 
real quiet. I walk into the kitchen. Now, can I assume that you two are aware of the common domestic oven? No, I've heard of it. And can I assume that you guys are aware that these ovens tend to have clear glass doors so you can look inside and see your Steggles chicken Kiev or your Pavlova or whatever you're cooking without letting the heat out? Shame away. So I walk into the kitchen. First thing I see is my mate's missus. She's hard to miss. She's got one leg up straddling the kitchen counter, the other one on a footstool. And she's squatting. She's squatting over an open oven door. She's squatting over it. Crazy behaviour, right? Insane. Exactly. I mean, there's no reason for a grown woman to be squatting over an oven door, is there? None that I can think of. Well, that's when I see my friend. He's lying on his back with his arms folded across his chest like he's in the grave. Only his eyes weren't closed. They were open. He was looking. He was looking up directly through the glass door. Oh, no. She no. was shitting. She was shitting on the open glass door and he was watching the whole thing unfold from below. <laughs> what would you call that? A mole's eye view or something? <laughs> what did you do? Oh, I just stood rooted to the ground for about 10 seconds. Then I heaved my guts up all over the kitchen. No fucking way. What was the conversation like that night? I haven't spoken to him since. <laughs> that doesn't bother me. I mean, what's there to say? Anyway, that's why I'm looking for a new place. <laughs> Maybe I'm just looking for a new oven, eh? <laughs> you all right? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I just, uh, I haven't, I haven't smoked a cigarette in like three months and I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> you wanna answer a question from the hat? Sure. Do you prefer crisps or chocolate? What do you mean by crisps? Potato crisps. You mean potato chips? Whatever. Crisps is uh, English. Whatever. What do you prefer? Chips. Honey soy chicken. So most of the furniture in this room will be gone. Cool. Sorry, um, Farrah, isn't it? Uh, Farrah. Like Sarah with an F? Sarah with an F, sure. Yeah, I know. Uh, so what do you, what do you do? I'm a witch. For, for like a job? Yeah. People pay you to do witch stuff? Yeah. Could you, could you do something for me? Oh, well, mostly it's a scam. I don't do much, like, actual magic. And you're all right with that? Like, scamming people? Mm, I don't know. I mean, they pay me for it, so I guess they're getting something out of it. OK. Um, so let's say I walk in as one of your paying customers. What do we do? Well, first I'd ask you why you're here. You know, people usually have something specific they're trying to do. Um, contact a spirit. Uh, see their future, curse somebody. You curse people? Uh, I curse people, yeah, sure. Uh, then we just talk about your problem for a while, and uh, then I cast a spell, you know. Just arrange some crystals, light some candles, chant a little bit. You know, people love it, especially the chanting. Yeah, but you don't, you don't actually believe you're doing anything, though. No. I don't believe I'm doing, like, actual magic, not most of the time, no. 
I, I mean, I hope I'm not. Like, people should not have the power to do half the shit I say I'm doing. Like, could you imagine how fucked up the world would be if people could curse each other? So, what magic have you done? I made a glass of water move once. Oh, without touching it? It wouldn't be magic if I was touching it. Could you, could you do it again? Mm, I doubt it. Can I be real with you? Yeah? I, I don't want to live here. Okay. It's not the house. It's your housemate. Okay. We're opposed. Like magnets. You know what I mean? I'd be, I'd be lying if I said I know what you mean. Wait, you could feel it, right? We repel. I mean, yeah, I get, yeah, I guess I could feel it. Do you want to, do you want to pick a question out of the hat before you go? Just pick one up. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's one for everyone we interview. There's nothing on it. Really? It's blank, dude. Huh. Yeah, no, but I love it. It's got such like a Pendleton Ward vibe to it. Oh, I've, I've met Pendleton Ward too. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Where? Uh, animation Festival in San Diego. And um, you know what? He's actually really, really shy. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, like I'd flip out. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it, it was so cool. I, um, I mean, I only got to say like two words to him, but I mean. <laughs> Did you like shake his hand or? Yeah. And how was it? It was nice. It was the, <laughs> the nice handshake. <laughs> It was a very gentle handshake. Well, you, you met him too? Yes, I did. So you guys are like friends or...? Um... <laughs> well, um, uh, actually, um... Look, I hope this isn't a big deal, but, um... I, we, we know that Ad said no couples, but we were wondering maybe there's a leeway on that. You guys are... Yeah. Okay. So you'd be looking to like share the room? Yeah. Sorry, we didn't tell you up front. We, we weren't trying to pull the wool or anything. No, it's, it's all right, it's all right. Um, I mean, we're both super chill. Um, I'm mostly out of the house with work and you're... Yeah, nine to five for the next six months. Yeah. Sorry if we wasted your time. No, not at all, not at all. Um, you guys seem super cool, to be honest, so... Yeah, and, like, rent would be cheaper. Yeah, and bills as well. That's true. Hey, like, I'm, I'm not totally opposed to the idea or anything, so... Yeah, me, me either. I mean, like, a couple could be cool. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, we, we love the place. Yeah, yeah. it's literally <laughs> perfect. Cool. <laughs> you guys seem super cool. Uh... <laughs> um... There is, uh, one thing, um... Um, so we just found out that we are pregnant. Oh! Congratulations! Thanks. How, uh, uh, how far along? About two months. And you just, you just found out? Yep. Congratulations. Thanks. I, I mean, we, we wanted to be open with you guys and we just, I mean, you're going to find out anyway. Yeah, no, we, we appreciate the honesty. That's, um, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, would you guys like to pick a question out of the hat? Yeah. What is your favourite Harry Potter? Um, uh, book, film? Book. Prisoner of Azkaban. Order of the Phoenix. The Order of the Phoenix. Mm, yeah, the, the Thestrals. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your favourite Harry Potter book is Order of the Phoenix. Uh, yeah. Uh, so. 
Is that a weird thing to say? <laughs> hey, what? Hey, what's wrong? Maybe, maybe it's the cat. No, I just get like this sometimes. It'll pass. Can I ask you a question? Is it the costume? <laughs> so it is the costume. Of course it's a costume. This one time, I told a girl I really liked her costume and she looked at me and said, I'm not wearing a costume. And I still haven't recovered from that trauma. <laughs> you were stoned. I honestly think it might've given me PSTD. PTSD, it's PTSD. Um... <laughs> And but you don't mind if Jacob and I partake in some wine? We've been interviewing people for quite some time now and our cockles need a little warming. <laughs> <coughs> um, oh no, that's fine. Um, yes, it is a costume. Um, I'm going to a murder mystery party after this. It's very impressive. Thank you, I worked really hard on it. You made that? Yeah. The whole thing? Yeah. Even the, even the gloves? No, I bought the gloves. Oh, holy moly. Give us a spin, give us a twirl. Oh. A hot diggity dog. <laughs> Thanks. So, so what are you... Uh, sorry. No, you go. <laughs> um, who drew that artwork? I think that's my apologies. You do it. Oh no, she means our old housemate. We used to call her up. My apologies. Oh, what? Why do you call her that? Uh, well, <laughs> uh, she she had a lot of bad habits. Like she used to um, forget to hang the bath mat up and and didn't use soap with the dishes when she washed them. And you'd be like, hey, can you please use soap when you wash the dishes? Or can you please hang the bathroom mat up? And she just wouldn't. No matter how many times you asked her, she just sort of like look at you and be like... My apologies. So, that's why we call her that. <sighs> Bernie Davis said only a fool would drink during an interview. So we're hoping you're a fool like us. Oh, you did want one, right? Yeah, you don't have, you don't have to drink it. <laughs> it's strong. Top scent. But we are this worthy. Well, um, <clears throat> Amber, uh, what is your opinion of Lana Del Rey? Who can ask them all one? I mean. But I'll be able to have some more wine. Can I tell you guys a secret? Um, 
the murderer. <laughs> Um, I have a few things. Um, I uh, help a friend out with his art gallery. I also do pamphlet delivery, which is super casual. Actually, it's really good for me. Um, I can do that whenever, so yeah. And that is actually my other job. Would I be able to have a glass of water, please? Uh, yeah, sure. So, your other job? Um, well, my main job. Actually, my main money owner, at least. Drinking water? Mm, taking pills. Uh, medical trials. I actually just started this one. I gotta take this guy five times a day. What's it supposed to do? Uh, it's an epilepsy drug. It suppresses seizures. Do you have epilepsy? Um, no. Um, how do they know if it works or not? I don't really know. I think they're just making sure it doesn't kill people first. I guess that's important too. Hmm. Guess so. So do you do a lot of medical trials? Um, just this past year I have been. They pay really well, actually. <laughs> really? Yeah, I made three grand off one once. Aren't you like a little scared of the side effects? Um, no, it doesn't really scare me. Uh, they can be hard sometimes though. I did this one, it was like testing the effects of sleep deprivation on cognition. And they kept me awake for like 30 hours at a time and I couldn't leave this bed the whole time and then they'd let me sleep for an hour and then they'd wake me up and make me do math tests and stuff. Well, uh, well, that's torture. That's uh, literally how they torture people for information. Yeah, that was that was the worst one I did. <laughs> By the end, I couldn't like, um, I couldn't eat or drink at all. Like they were actually just pouring water into my mouth and it was just coming out the other side. Yeah, that was eyelash. It was eyelash. That was goulash. Goulash, it was goulash. The real dancer took running fried egg glancing bloom first Range Rover. Cuck! Duck! Suck! Oh, is, is this from the medicine? Fuck. Uh, uh, I mean, what can we do? Should we call the hospital? Should we call the hospital? I don't know. Uh, uh, what do we, what do we, what do we do? Free. 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 Uh, yes, yes, this is Kurt. Uh, is this John? Um, no. I'm just calling from your grocer about the delivery driver job. This is your follow-up phone interview. Job interview. <laughs> oh my god. John Internet! Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can talk now. Um, yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. Hey, hey. <laughs> Don't worry. You're in good hands. Uh, Tell the swamp. Twenty-four hours a day. Ah, uh, Alberta, right? I think my best points are punctuality, Child organization. Yeah, um, honest, we're having a slight situation. Um, I, I have I have a lot of respect for people. Um, you don't know anything about drugs, do you? Honey. Why do you think I wear sunglasses? Hmm? He's taken some sort of epilepsy medication and uh, now he can't talk. Hmm. How much is rent? Uh, 686. And bills? 
Split evenly? Yeah. Hmm. Good. Do you have sugar? Do I have sugar? Yes. Uh, yeah, we have sugar. Get the sugar put in water. Give to him. Sugar water? Yes. Okay. I like this house. Uh, yeah, keeps the rain off. Mm. So, uh, what do you do? I am DJ. Oh my god. Wait. Wait. You're our first DJ. <laughs> you never meet DJ before, no? No, I was hand read by DJs. Just the first one we've seen today. Can I see the room now, please? Yeah, it's just on your left. <laughs> nice room, very big. Yeah, gets the afternoon light. I'll take it. You'll take it. You'll take it. Uh, We'll just have to like discuss. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fucking fuck? Hey, uh, can, could you unlock the door, please? He's asleep. and crackers. Hi. What's up? I'm here to see the room. Hendra. What? You put it on Facebook? Hendra, what the fuck? But am I not allowed? Come on, your housemate invited me for an interview. Are you even looking for a place? I can look, can't I? Actually, you can't. I'm allowed to fucking look. Jeez, I didn't say you weren't allowed. I said you can't. To tell your DJ passed out in there and he's locked the door. Yeah, 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 you name it, you name it, I can drive it. Yeah. <laughs> well, is there a window? A whole wide range, like hospitality, retail. Like quality of communication and like. I'm so lucky to take John into you. Hi. Come in. What? And uh. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, back to the back to the communication. really fucking psycho for me to make you a playlist and for you to fully not respond to that. It was all 80s music. I hate 80s music. What kind of a message does it send sending me a playlist full of fucking 80s music? Well, you never told me that you don't yes, like I did. 80s music. Yes, I did. 12 times and that's not an exaggeration. Well, do you even care? Do you even care that I've been going through such a tough time recently? My ankle has been acting up so bad, okay? And it literally feels like the whole left side of my body is on fire all the time. And like yesterday at work, I just broke down crying because I'm in so much pain all the time. And like, I've been to the osteopath and I've been to the physio and no one can do anything about it. And I'm just in so much pain all the time. I'm sorry you're in pain. Well, you don't seem very sorry. <gasps> what do you want me to do? Do you want me to cry? Because that's what it seems like every time we talk that you won't be happy until I cry. Well, I'm never doing anything nice for you again. <laughs> and I'm not crazy. I'm fun.
Is he still in there? Yeah, he's still in there. He's snoring. What did this guy take? What? Has he taken something? I don't know. I think so. Maybe he's asleep because he didn't take anything. Hey, do you know there's such thing as a hail cannon? A cannon that shoots hail? No, so... <laughs> So it's a cannon, the manufacturers say, shoots a shockwave into rain clouds and disrupts like the formation of hailstones. Mm, that's very interesting. Hey, you're back. Thank you. So do you think that you got the job? Curse job? Mm -hmm. I don't know. They hit me with the, give me an example when you've gone above and beyond for a customer question. Oh, well, they always ask that question. I know, and I can never think of anything to say. I just, yeah. Honestly, I, I don't think I've ever gone above and beyond for a customer. Yeah, you lie. The question may as well be, tell me a lie. That's not a question. <laughs> oh my God. Do we still have those firecrackers? <laughs> oh, God, Mr. DJ, we go to school. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Do another one, do another one. Um, I'm here to see the room. I'm, I'm so, do I have the wrong house? Yes, no, uh, I mean, no, no. I'm sorry, what was your name? Um, I'm Sandy. Sandy. Did you message us, Sandy? No. You know, I can come back if you, if, if you, uh, should I no, come back? No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Um, we're just having a bit of trouble with Getting into the room right now. Right. Uh, that's the only thing. Uh, um, wait, wait. Stay there. Don't ask anything. Okay. Sandy, what's your opinion on Lana Del Rey? Um, I, I like Lana Del Rey. Crisps or chocolate? Oh, chocolate, definitely. Comfortable or stylish? Uh, I guess it depends on my mood. Which is your favorite Harry Potter? Fire. 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 I'll go to Anthony's. I'll go to Anthony's. Why are you smiling? Sandy, do you prefer people to be nice or interesting? What? Take an extinguisher! Do you prefer people to be nice or interesting? I prefer my friends to be nice and my acquaintances to be interesting. Take a minute to go now. The room's yours if you want it. The room's on 